So we're gonna talk about rectus diaphys and how do we test for it. So rectus diaphys is a separation of the linea alba and it's really, we know a lot about it with uh, antepartum women. Uh, what we don't really talk about a lot is it with other populations and that could be men or women that um, either have gone through a big weight gain, weight loss, so that, they, that will separate that abdomen it will also happen in people that do a lot of weightlifting, and so what starts to happen is that separation now becomes thicker and wider and not thicker sorry it just becomes wider and so we start to get less stabilization of our abdomen if you think about our rectus in conjunction with our internal obliques and external obliques and those deep down transverse abdominis correlating with the multifidi and the thoracolumbar fascia it acts like a corset around our core. And we want it, we want a stable core. We want it to be controlled as we go through environments. So it could be important if someone is coming in with low back pain, you might have been like killing their back, right? You're, you're working on all of that. You've stretched out their hips. This would be that third pillar that I would check to make sure that there's really a nice, tight congruency between those tissues. So in Dave, the first thing that I would do is just palpate the lineal alba to see if there's any separation that I feel. So if I feel below the umbilicus, I don't feel anything. If I feel actually right above the umbilicus, he feels okay. But as we get into this middle part, so if I orientate myself, here's a xiphoid process. So if I take the xiphoid process down to the umbilicus and divide it into thirds, this lower third feels really good. This middle third, I can actually get a finger in and in, in separation into the width, and I haven't even really tested it to see what's happening. And then up here, it feels pretty good as well, so no separation there. To test it, Dave's gonna do kind of a chin tuck, and he's gonna lift his head up. And so the idea is we wanna see, does that, does that separation close? It should come together. And so if Dave comes up again, as I come into that middle third, I still can't, I can feel right into that one spot that I was feeling at passively. He still has a little bit of a finger width apart. I wouldn't say that's pathological. It's not causing him any pain. It's just something that we might talk about as far as his training goes, is to think about that stabilization. He's probably doing a really good job transverse abdominal wise, low ab wise, but what's he getting up top? Is there getting some nice corset feeling into here? And we might dive in a little bit deeper and think about the diaphragm in relationship to that coming into that lineal alba form right there. So just a quick, quick reiteration. To test it out, you're going to have your patient really come up, fulcrum into there. You want to make sure that you palpate above and below the umbilicus. You can go all the way to the pubic symphysis if you're starting to feel or you have some question if some of that separation is occurring.